In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Divi Builder Shop module, which allows you to add a list of products to any post or page uh, powered by WooCommerce. So before you can actually use the shop module, you first have to install WooCommerce, configure it, and create some products. So after you install WooCommerce and configure it, you'll see a new, um, a new products post type gets added here, and you can add new products. And those products are what uh, show up inside of the um, shop module. It's really just a way to add, easily add WooCommerce products, lists of WooCommerce products, inside the poster page you're building with the Divi Builder. And you want to make sure whenever you do add a new, pro a new product, as you can see there's a list of my products, that you assign a product image, and that's the image that will um, appear within the grid view of the shop module, as you see here. So there's that tea kettle that I just showed you and the featured image here. And if I click on this, it's going to bring me to the product page for that kettle. And you can go ahead and add that to your cart and go through the WooCommerce checkout process. So once you've created your um, set of products and installed WooCommerce, adding a list of those products inside the Divi Builder is really easy. So let's, let me show you how to create a page just like this using the Divi Builder and the shop module. So I've gotten started over here. I've just added a new title to the page. And below that, I want to add a list of, uh, of um, products using the shop module. So I'm going to edit this page. And I'm going to add a new section below our current full width section. And I'm going to make this a 3 fourth, 1 fourth. And on the left side here, I'm going to place our shop module with all of our products. And on the right, I'm going to add a sidebar and perhaps some other modules as well. So once you've added your row, click the Insert Modules button and locate the Shop Module. Once you click on the Shop Module, you'll be greeted with all, with all of the Shop Module settings. And as with all Divi Builder modules, these settings are separated into three categories. General Settings, Advanced Design Settings, and Custom CSS. As a general rule of thumb, everything you need to build a great page with the Divi Page Builder can be found in the General Settings tab. But if you want to um, have even more control over the design and appearance of that module, well then you can venture into the Advanced Design Settings tab, which has customization options for absolutely everything inside the module. You can adjust font sizes, colors, line height, letter spacing, padding, margin, you get the idea. You can um, customize absolutely everything. And if you happen to be um, CSS savvy, you can also move over to the Custom CSS tab and apply Custom CSS to modules and elements within the modules. Now I have some great tutorials that go over how to use advanced design settings and Custom CSS, so be sure to check those out. And as, for, um, as far as this tutorial goes, I'm just going to focus on those general settings. So when you add a new shop module to your page, you're going to have to configure um, a few basic general settings. First of all, you want to, to um, select the type of list of products you will be displaying. Do you want to display f uh, recent products, uh, featured products, products that are on sale, best-selling products, top-rated products, or products based on a certain category? These are all basic um, WooCommerce uh, uh, features. So you can feature products in WooCommerce. Um, you can put products on sale and you'll have a list of best-selling products. And when you do those, uh, those things, for example, if you created a shop module that, that was only displaying uh, sale products, um, any item you put on sale would then appear in that module. So you can have a special page that you built out just to display you know, your current sales or a page to display your top-selling products. In this case, I'm just going to leave it to at recent products, in which case it's going to display all my products in the order that they have been published. Next up, we're going to want to choose how many um, items are displayed. So you can limit this or increase it. I'm just going to have uh, 10 items displayed in this case. You can choose how many columns. Now, by default, the Divi Builder will adjust how many um, products are displayed per column based on the size of the browser window and the um, size of the column that the shop module has been added to it. But if you want to um, override what the Divi Builder does and, and kind of control it on your own, then you can do that by um, selecting a number of columns here. So if you leave it by, at default, um, the Divi Builder will do all the work. 
But if you want to override that, you can. And I'm just going to leave it default because typically default looks quite good. You can also change the way that the um, items in your list are sorted, either by popularity, rating, date, or price. And finally, you can add an admin label, CSS ID, and CSS class, which we won't be using in this tutorial. Now, at any time during the module configuration process, you can hop into the preview window by clicking the preview icon here, and it's going to give you a look at your current module um, rendered inside of its parent section. And so we can see what we've created so far, which is our list of recent products. And it's looking good, so I'm going to save and exit. And to finish off the page, I'm going to add my sidebar module here. I'm not going to go into how the sidebar module works. You can check out that tutorial if you like. But it's pretty simple. I'm just adding a sidebar that I've created earlier in the widgets page. And so now our page is basically done. I'm going to view it on the front end. And you're going to see on the left, our uh, list of products is here using the shop module. And my sidebar is here on the right. And um, I've customized it to only show 10 items. Although now that I look at it again, I probably should have chosen nine, so we didn't have um, this widowed item at the bottom here. So now that I look at that, I'm probably going to bounce back in here and change this to nine instead. And give it a quick preview to verify that, yep, nine looks like the magic number here. And I'm going to save and exit and update the page. So that's a basic overview of the shop module. Now, I glossed over the advanced design settings earlier, so let me just show you a bit of what can be done using those settings as well. I'm going to jump into the advanced design settings and just change a couple things. And like I said, you can you can adjust absolutely every, everything in here. Um, <clears throat> for example, the hover icon, if you wanted to change that to something else, you could. You could choose the overlay color. Maybe instead of using um, a white, which is standard, you could use a, uh, like a dark slightly transparent black. You could change the icon hover color. Maybe you want to make that um, like a really bright pink. You can adjust the title font, um, adjust the font weight, and the text transformation, and even adjust the title size. There's really, there's no limit to what can be done. And while you're editing these advanced design settings, it's really great to pop in and out of the preview tab to see what you've done so far. So you can see we've increased the um, size and font weight and font of the um, title. We've changed the overlay to be dark and our icon to be pink, which now that I'm previewing it, I'm realizing, you know what, the pink isn't showing up very well, so I might want to jump back here and make this something else like a white, which will probably look a lot better. So jumping back into the preview, that white icon showing up pretty good. And um, you can bump, uh, jump in and out of these responsive design testing tabs as well to see kind of how it looks at different sizes. So yeah, I think that's looking pretty good now. I'm going to save and exit and update the page. And if we look at it on the front end, we can see the results. So yep, that's a basic overview of the shop module in the Divi page builder.